Hello everyone. I want to dig into the teachings that we received from David Daniels, um, the Métis Elder, Tansha Kiyayan, the Shaneka Shonreina. We learned how to say uh, Tanshi Kiyayan instead of Kiyawao, as Tiyayan uh, is not just how are you, but a very uh, in, uh, concerned and in-depth how is your health. Um, because if we don't have our health, then we can't access our higher wisdom if we don't have our physical health. So the seven grandfather teachings, respect, truth, honesty, courage, love, wisdom, and humility. Uh, David said that uh, in our language, women translates to daughters of God and that women created the world, not a man God. Uh, women are dominant guides for anything in the community. And mental, emotional, physical, spiritual health all considered, like the real meaning of holistic. So health is a unified system that's not broken up or compartmentalized in uh, traditional medicine. So harmonic resonance in the whole body is health, but we are broken. So how we would find harmonic resonance um, traditionally like using drumming and finding out where the places of imbalance are in the body. Um, but there's, there's lack of resonance uh, now because we are so uh, fragmented and compartmentalized with our health. And so because there's all these different pieces um, fractured away from our whole self, it makes it harder to find that harmonic resonance. But it's, it's possible. Uh, we're given a body to take care of but we can corrupt it with drugs or alcohol. It's up to us. That's free will. Identity gives us a purpose. It fulfills our responsibility in society. Um, when we leave our body and our spirit goes back to creator, that's when we did what we were supposed to do. So in the traditional Métis teachings, um, because there's so many medicinal plants, over 37,000 of them, uh, we call them standing medicine people and they have that special name because they've never broken a sacred law. Um, they just survive and so their whole purpose is to be our food, to be our medicine. Um, wild meat is a medicine. Um, those animals only eat what's in their environment and the standing medicines people job, people's job is to feed us because of, their, because of the, the highest nutrition content that they contain. Uh, he brought up lamb's quarters because they were equal to or better than spinach for the iron content. Um, and stinging nettles, which are also uh, delicious wild food, really good for anemia, and you can make stinging nettle tea. Um, he said can be used uh, in hair, um, and it's, it's a, a strengthening plant as it's a medicine that increases our body strength. So they got into like antibiotics and superbugs and microplastics and toxins and how um, you know feedlots are contributing to carbon footprint and how the only solution to all of that is to go local. That we are contaminating ourselves unless we go local. Our whole environment is polluted and it's sustaining us, so we are polluted, um, and we're a virus to the earth. <laughs> the power of choice, uh, is the biggest right that we can depend on is our right to choose, um, and food sovereignty is vital to survival. Um, got into mind, body, spirit, how complex it is, um, the microscopic and interworkings of all these different parts of us said God is a plumber and that there's no money in healthy people. So um, getting a little bit into, you know, the shadow side of uh, big pharma and, and how diabetes numbers are millions worldwide and that Manitoba has some of the highest rates of amputations worldwide. Um, and so really dug into how, how preventable diabetes is um, talked about sacred holy basil, how affordable it is, or you can grow your own. Um, you can make it into a tea and how good it is for your blood pressure and, and blood sugar. Um, doctors make money for every prescription they write. It's a pyramid scheme and creator gives everything for free. 
So drink regularly this uh, holy basil tea. Of course, I have to add in, if you're going to do this or recommend this to someone, they need to talk to the doctor to make sure it doesn't interact with anything that they're already doing. Um, we have this uh, in our culture, a lost art of canning, uh, preserving, dehydrating, I would add fermenting. Um, and that it, because of that, um, it's really important to get back to those practices because they're traditional, um, because they're healthy, and they, uh, they help us embrace food sovereignty. Um, liver flushes, he talked about decalcifying your pineal gland and getting to the root cause of issues in your body. He brought up migraine headaches. The best cure grows all over BC, fireweed. Um, you can get the dried roots for the migraines. He said it deals with synapses in the brain and corrects. So there's no need for meds. Um, hot chopped ginger in water um, is, or ground into soup is always good. He said um, uh, just for extra nutrients and then all the amazing flavor. Obviously, people, he said people are not cooking anymore, but there's so much joy in it. And we need to be reviving that and bringing that back into people's kitchens. That there's shared cooking experience um, with the kids, with the family, educates them and is also a bonding experience and it's very important to do that regularly. Uh, God, he used the word God. I would, uh, I will always also add in always universe, source, higher power, however you see that, that word, um, doesn't want us to suffer. Um, people still need to believe in miracles as they are available to all of us. The three sisters are corn, squash, and beans. And the chunky part of the squash with all the seeds is, co is called the womb of the squash because all the babies hide in it. And potato or corn cob water is used to bake into bread. So again, that like using every piece of something so that things aren't going to waste, um, that, that water is gonna be recycled into something else. Uh, raw pumpkin seeds for prostate health. He talked about starting the train of distribution with seeds. So anytime you get your hands on seeds um, or find a seed bank or um, no friends that collect seeds, have these friends around. Um, but collecting, sharing, really, really important. Um, huge, huge Karen culture move to have some seeds on stash. Um, very, very, very much lots of power in seeds. Um, he talked about rat root. Um, has to be the North American one. Um, the European one is poisonous, but nerve, or sorry, a rat root is really good for nerve pain. Um, you can also burn and breathe it in like a smudge for sinus pain. Um, and it can move that negative, negative energy out and put its medicine in. Um, whatever, whatever medicine benefits you, he, he said, you know, the way that the world is now, it's amazing. We can access medicines from different parts of the world, but don't abuse these medicines. Bless your food so it's better when you consume it. Um, when something happens, when something bad happens in the body, plan at onset of disease. So we have two, we have, we have some plans. We have, um, we can be preventative, but then once we're already in it, we have to have a reactive plan. So plan A, um, remain in existing balanced health. So obviously that's not reactive. That's just, you're just going to decide to stay there. Um, plan B, more reactive. Repair and get back to plan A, which is just existing in balanced health. Um, if we're very ill, plan C, everything has to go into overcoming what's happening. All of our, all of our energy and rest and focus. So then David really got into like very, very specific, uh, herbs for different things, which I'm not going to get into, um, because it's, it's so person by person, case by case. Um, and he did close by making it very clear um, to share share what we've learned here today. So, of course, all this information um, that I have is now in my arsenal for my clients. 
um, and also ended by making it really clear to um, know your rights, know your rights um, in our world and with Creator, and to do your daily prayers, like however, whatever that looks like for you, whether it's um, meditation or directional prayers or a smudge, um, whatever you can do to honor the land um, and start to, to connect with that, that's really important to continue doing that. All right, that's all. I hope that was, I hope there was things in there that you resonated with and I'm really honored to share. Um, Marcy, 